Okay, we're going to try to make this a faster video than before. What we are studying now is sequences and <sighs> sequences and expressions. Okay, the first thing you need to know is that sequence is the new word for pattern. Instead of saying pattern, now we're going to call it sequences. Okay? Sequences or patterns. Okay, a sequence is a list of numbers in a specific order. Okay, the order, that's a pattern. It goes in a special order. Each number in the sequence is called a term. Okay, so this is the term right here. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term is found by adding the same number to the previous term. So when we look at this example, we're adding the same amount every time to get from one number to the next. What are we adding? We're adding 4. And the whole point of this is to see if you can figure out what you do to the position number here to get the value here. What do you do to 1 to get 4 as an answer? You could add 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. But is that true on the whole table? Is 2 plus 3 equal to 8? Is 3 plus 3 equal to 12? What about 4 plus 3? Does that equal 16? No. None of those is true. So the position number, these numbers up here, you don't add 3 to get the term. What must you do? What are you doing to get the value of the term? One times four is four. Is that true on all of them? Is two, okay, I can't move my paper down. Is two times four equal to eight? Is three times four equal to 12? Is four times four equal to 16? Yeah, all of those are true, so Whatever the position number is, you take it times 4 to get the value. Okay. Um, let's move this. I don't know how to move it. Oh, there we go. Remember, I'm learning too. This is not easy for me all the time. Okay, so let's look at number one. What is happening to the, val to the position number to get the value? What do we do to these numbers to get the value? Are we dividing by three? Three divided by three is one. That is true. But is 4 divided by 3 equal to 2? No. What is something that is true for every position? Well, you're subtracting 2. 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 5 minus 2 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4. So then when we get here, we're going to write n minus... 2. And what that's saying is that it doesn't matter what number you put up here in the top as a position, you subtract 2 to get the value. So this is one part of the answer. Okay? It's this part of the answer right here. Use words and symbols to describe the value. Okay, so there's the first answer. And then the second answer is find the value of the tenth term. So if this was a 10, for some reason that's not erasing, I don't know why. Hmm. 
Hmm. If this was a 10, what would be the value of the term? We'll follow your little expression right here. 10 minus 2 is what? It's 8. So that is the value of the tenth term. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Do they want the number ten there? Or do they want it all the way to here? One, two, three, four, five. I think that's what they want. Okay, number two. <clears throat> the position number um, one gives us a value of five. When the position is two, the value is ten. What's happening on this table? What are you doing to the position number to get the value? Can you tell? Are you adding 4? If you are, is that true on all of them? No, you're taking it times 5. So, number 1 is going to be n times 5. Now, there's some issues with this because the time sign looks like an x. And now that we're using algebra, we're using letters in there. <clears throat> we don't want to write it like that anymore. <clears throat> the way you want to write it is going to be like this with the number first and then the letter right next door to it with no spaces or anything in between. 5n means whatever n is you take it times 5. There's 5 of them. Okay, now it says the tenth term. So the second part of this answer is 5 times 10, which is what? The tenth term would be 50. Okay, so there's your answer for the second part. All right, finally. <clears throat> How do we get from the position to the value? What is happening each time? Looks like you're adding 7. So for the third example, remember you're writing all these examples. For the third example, you would say that whatever the position number is in, you would add Seven. Jose, are you listening? Hmm? Are you? Yeah, I see you awake now. Come on, take notes. N plus seven is your expression. And then what happens if that is a ten? What is ten plus seven? Where am I getting ten? In the directions, remember it says the tenth term. Ten plus seven is 17. Well, that's your answer to the second part of that. Okay, two minutes shorter. So, there you go. Have a good weekend. Make sure that you show me your Cornell notes for that 10 extra points. That's your homework now, is just to take the notes. And have a good weekend. You're free now to do whatever you want to do. Bye.